guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all well i thought today in the video i would show you guys how i use my favorite hair tool when i first got this hair tool it took me a while to figure out how to work it i was definitely doing it the other way around so it wasn't working properly and yeah it took me a long time to figure it out and even when i searched either on Google or YouTube um, for like a tutorial on how to use it, there wasn't really anything that was coming up. Um, and I've showed how I've used this hair tool on my reels before, but like never in depth kind of thing. I kind of just did like a quick reels with no talking through it and the finished product. So I thought today I would introduce it to you guys and talk through how I use it and show you guys that it's super quick and easy. So this is the product that I am on about. It is the Babyliss uh, Wave Secret Air. I struggle with names and remembering things my brain is not with it today but it's the Babyliss Wave Secret Air I've been raving about it ever since I got it um, this is not a sponsored video but this was gifted to me as part of a previous campaign that I worked with them on and yeah I have just like been non-stop raving about this and been telling all of my friends to get this because it is epic it's so easy to use and I just love that it makes like curling the back of my hair super easy because it does suck your hair in and I know that sounds like terrifying like trust me I was terrified when I first played around with this but it's so easy to use and I've never had any issues with it I think with this it usually takes me like 15 to 20 minutes um, to do my hair if I was in a rush I could probably do it in like just under 15 minutes but I don't like brushing when I do my hair so I kind of just take my time and yeah it's literally one of the best products I've ever used and I'll show you guys how to use it so first up it comes with um, two buttons this is the on button so we are just going to pop that on right now there we go it says 180 it does come with three heat settings so there's 180 200 and 230 I tend to use it on 230 but I have done it on 200 before and it works just fine but I just really like extra heat so I use that and of course I use um, like heat protector as well so I spray that all over my hair before I use any heat tools and next we have the other button which is right here if it's gonna focus um, and this is like pretty much how like alternating the curls anytime I do like a big bouncy wave I alternate the curls and that setting pretty much does it for you automatically um, it does have three settings again you just keep pressing the button it determines which way the roller kind of goes so you can have your curls facing inwards or facing outwards or what I like to do is just keep it on automatic just because it's a lot easier to be honest and again if you do hear any weird noises it's Dexter he is currently sleeping next to the radiator right next to me um, he's just attached to my hip so if you hear any weird noises that's him we are going to start off with brushing our hair through and then getting the heat protector I'm using this one by bedhead which is one of my go-to's spray it all over your hair make sure everything is covered and then we are going to grab a claw clip and section half of the hair up so when it comes to working the barrel you're gonna want to make sure that the opening with the roller visible is going to be facing your head all the time you're then going to want to grab a small section of your hair and insert it through the barrel and then once you close it it will just suck it right back in and don't worry i know this looks really scary but i promise you it's not i've never gotten my hair stuck in it before and it's super easy to use so once your hair is in the barrel it's going to make a sound about four beeps in total um a few seconds in between each beeps and then on the last beep it will be like a quick flashing beep noise i don't know if that makes any sense um but then that's kind of how you know that it's ready 
You're then going to be giving your hair a quick cold shot. So all you have to do is just let go, hold it there for a few more seconds, and then you're just going to take it out of the roller. And that is pretty much it, guys. That is how I use the curler. Um, just remember that when you switch over to the other side of your head, that the opening with the roller exposed is still like facing towards your head. Otherwise, it's not going to wrap the hair around properly and you won't get a good curl. So this is me, my hair, um, after I've done everything. It is giving ringlets at the moment and that is not what we want. So I'm going to show you guys quickly how um, I just turned this into like effortless, beautiful loose waves. I'm going to start off with brushing through the hair. You can either use a comb or you can use a brush depending on like what the end result you kind of want. If you want like a more polished, very, very soft loose wave, I would probably just go with a brush. But if you kind of want to keep the curl and the volume, I would go with a comb. Um, so yeah, I alternate between the two depending on what kind of hairstyle I want. Today, I am going to go with a brush just because I want it to be a little bit more polished getting my hair done tomorrow so I kind of like don't want to do much to it and I don't want to put that much product in it um so yeah I'm gonna literally go and brush it out gently with um this brush you can see it's given a very like soft but polished kind of look Next, I'm only going to be using two products. Like I said, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, so I don't want too much product in there. Um, so first up is some dry shampoo. This is the one um, from Kirastas. I really like this one. It's not heavy on the hair and it smells lovely. So I'm literally just going to grab a few sections and just spray it through. Like not a lot as well again I don't want much product in there just leave it for a few seconds and then I just massage it through give it a little bit of zhuzh it's so pretty a little bit of volume I am going out for dinner later so this is perfect I am literally just going to spray it with a little bit of hairspray And then there you have it. Super quick and easy, effortless, loose, soft waves. I would also finish it off with a little bit of hair oil, but again, I didn't want that much product in it today. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. And yeah, I kind of just wear my hair down like this, like very tousled, very messy but like it gives so much volume. So yeah, that is how I used it all. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know down below and I will get back to you. But yeah, until next time, bye guys.